Futures Trading, Futures Market What is futures trading? Futures trading refers to an agreement between a buyer and a seller, where both parties agree to trade on a particular day, decide the number of particular goods and agree on a fixed price. Futures contracts are traded on exchanges. Therefore, we can easily buy or sell the contract, and there is no risk in trading on it. Futures are standard contracts. We can buy only those things which are trading on the exchange. A futures contract is an asset purchase at an agreed price, but payment is made at the time of delivery. Buyers in futures contracts are known as long positions and sellers are known as short positions. A futures contract gives the buyer or seller the right to buy or sell certain assets at a certain future price. Who trades futures contract? 1. Hedgers. Hedgers are the traders who buy and sell the real goods in the futures market, and protect themselves from commodity prices that move against them. For instance, if a person buys lemons in the futures market and sells them to wholesalers. He will wait for a few months and then when the market price of lemon increases, he will book his profit and sell all the lemons. Hedging is buying and selling in a futures contract on temporary but later buying or selling in the cash market. 2. Speculators. Speculators are people who analyze and predict future price movements and trade deals for future profit. Speculators risk their money and are prepared for losses in the futures market. They earn profit from price movements. Types of Futures Contract 1. Commodity Futures A commodity market is an exchange where people can buy and sell raw materials and goods. There are mainly two types of commodities, hard and soft. Hard commodities include natural resources such as oil, gold, silver, metal, aluminum, etc. Soft commodities include agricultural products such as lemon, corn, sugar, pork, soybeans, wheat, coffee, etc. The commodity market is highly volatile. Commodity futures are traded on the Multi-Commodity Exchange and the National Commodity and Derivatives Exchange. 2. Index Futures Index futures are the contracts where people can buy or sell indices and settle the deal at a future date. Index futures include Dow Jones futures, S&P 500 futures and Nasdaq 100 futures. For example, Mr. X buys S&P 500 futures at 4,400 with an expiry date of the month. If the S&P 500 rises to 4,500, he will earn $100 per trade. And if the price goes down 4,300, he will lose $100 per trade. A portfolio manager and speculators trade in index futures. 3. Interest Rate Futures Interest rate futures are the contracts that allow traders to change interest rates. It is a contract where traders buy or sell debt instruments that are government bonds or treasury bills. For instance, if Mr. X buys a 10-year bond worth $100 at a 2% interest rate. If the interest falls to 1.5%, then the price of a bond will rise to $110 or more. The interest rate is based on the underlying assets that pay interest. The interest rate futures agreements allow buyers and sellers to lock in the property prices to pay interest in the future. 4. Stock Futures In the stock futures, the underlying assets are the particular stocks. Traders need to deposit the initial margin to the broker. Stock futures are traded on the New York Stock Exchange, NASDAQ, American Stock Exchange and many more. It is an agreement to buy or sell the particular stock for a future date at a price agreed by the buyer and seller. Stock futures are risky when the volumes of transactions are larger. Stock futures traded in fixed size which is known as lot size. 